all right guys welcome to day 16 and today we are going to be building the mute option in our uh, music player melody music player but first let's rewind or uh, <laughs> if you got that pun let's replay what we did or recap what we did in the last video and we created this rewind button which restarts the music pretty simple functionality now let's get started with the mute button in our uh, Kinta window. Now what does the mute button do? Obviously you must know about it. So what mute button does it, it uh, sets the volume to zero and when we click on the mute button again, then it increases the volume again without having to touch the scale volume widget. So let's get started. It's a little bit, uh, it's not that difficult. It's a little bit just a little bit more code than you would expect. So the first thing we are going to do is obviously uh, take the icons from flaticon.com. I've just searched for the term called volume and then I've taken these two icons. The first icon is the volume icon and then I'm going to use the second icon for the mute uh, icon and then I have downloaded the PNGs and they are basically 32 by 32 pixels. So you can download that and I've already added them into my project though I have changed the spellings of them. This is the mute button and then this is the volume button. So let's get started. The first thing we are going to do is obviously add both of these buttons inside our uh, project. So obviously that's pretty simple. You don't have to uh, do a lot because you already know how to do it. Although there's going to be a little bit of a difference, but don't worry about it too much. I'm just going to show you. So instead of the rewind photo, I'm just going to call it uh, the mute photo. And over here, mute.png. So obviously when we click on the mute button, so for example, when uh, we'll be integrating our mute button over here, when we click on the volume button, it should change into a mute button. So that we will need kind of two images. So let me actually show you with the help of VLC music player. So if you go to the bottom right, or actually let me show you because the, the, the volume is pretty low on that one. It's very small, so you won't be able to see it. So if you see over here in this uh, speaker, Actually, I think this is changing uh, the speakers of Samsung Go Mic, so I'm not gonna mess with that. But anyways, let me just show you in the VLC Music Player, it's, far, it's all right. I'll probably zoom in into this area so you can see this properly. So when you click on this mute icon, you can see it changes to a mute cross kind of an icon, and then you have to click on it to unmute it. All right, so similar thing, we want it with this button. So that's why we have to add two buttons over here. One is the mute photo and then not two buttons, actually two images. And then when we, when we click on the, on the button is going to change from the volume photo to the mute photo. So I'm just going to click, uh, I'm just going to make another photo and we're going to write uh, volume.png. So this was the thing that was a little bit different from other photo buttons that we have made previously. And then we'll write volume.png. And then instead of rewind button, let's call it the volume button. And I want this to be in the bottom frame, just on the right hand side of this uh, rewind button. And then volume button, this looks good. Instead of rewind photo. So first we want the volume photo and when we click on the volume photo, it should change to the mute photo and vice versa. Obviously when it's mute photo, when we click on it, we want it to change to volume photo. And then instead of rewind music, we are just gonna write mute music. And then it's pretty simple. Let's write just not a uh, volume button. All right. And then this is column zero. So I want this to be in column one. And then this should be in column two. All right. So let's reload it and see how it looks. Let me just close the previous music player. Let me just run this again. Mute music is not defined. Obviously, we haven't declared the function yet. So let me just go ahead and create this function really, really quickly. So I'll just go above and just beneath this uh, set volume function, I'm going to call it mute underscore music and uh, just going to write pass. Not basically this means I haven't done anything inside this function yet. It doesn't matter. Just reload it. And now you can see uh, this button is over here. And when we click on it, nothing's going to happen because we haven't implemented it yet. So the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, yeah, let's actually learn how to change this button. When we click on this uh, volume button, how to change, not how to muse, not how to mute the music, but how to actually change this button from this uh, volume button 
volume photo to actually the music, uh, not the music photo, the mute photo. So from the volume photo to mute photo. So to do that, that's pretty simple. You just got to write, um, you're just gonna go to the, let's go down. So yeah, this is called the volume button. That's what I wanted to know. So now we'll go to this mute underscore music and we'll just write volume button dot configure. And inside this, we are gonna write image equals to mute, mute photo. So that is the photo that we want when uh, the button is clicked. So let's reload it and just see, we are not implementing anything right now. We are just seeing if the image is changing or not. So when I click on it, it changes to the mute photo. So now we know it's working. So now we can start implementing the actual functionality of uh, the mute, uh, the mute element or the mute button. So let me just actually check whether uh, it's recording or not. If it's not recording, okay, fine, it's recording. Uh, let me check also here. Oh, it's six minutes. It's fine. So let's get started uh, implementing the mute button. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, create a variable and it's called uh, muted equals to false. All right, so right now we are gonna start with the state that the music is still playing and we haven't clicked on the mute button. So that's why it has the Boolean value of false. And then we want this value inside our mute music function. So how do we do that? We are just gonna write global and then mute it. And now we can use this false value inside our mute underscore music function because we have declared it as global. So that's why we can now use this muted false value inside our mute underscore music function. After that, we are just going to write if muted, do something. And over here, if it's actually muted, so this value, if muted equals to true, this is what it says behind the scenes. If you know very basic Python, if it's muted is true, then uh, that means we have to unmute the music. So write unmute the music. Why is, this, why is this giving an error in then expected? Um, let me just fix this a little bit. Let me just put it over here. All right. Uh, and then I'm just going to write pass for now. And else, if the music is uh, not unmuted, actually it's false. That means the music hasn't been muted yet. And that means mute the music. So how do you mute the music? Uh, the functionality for that is pretty easy. What you do is you set the volume as zero. Uh, yeah, that, that's pretty easy to do. So what we are going to do, we are going to do that with a set underscore volume function. If you remember, you can change the volume. As you can see over here, you can change the volume using the set underscore volume function. And when you mute the music, we want the volume to be as zero. So we mute the volume inside this area because it says we, the, muted, mu, uh, the muted value is false right now. When you start the music player, that means it hasn't been muted yet. That's why the else condition is going to be executed. So obviously the first thing that we are going to do is actually mute the music. So let's paste this over here and instead of volume, we'll just put in zero because you want to totally mute the music. Let me just format this properly. All right. And after that, we want the, we want to change the button from the volume button, from the volume button to mute button, which we haven't done right now. So we just gonna copy and paste this maybe over here. All right, this will mute, change the icon or basically change the photo of the button. And then what we want is when it's uh, muted, we want the scale to be set to zero because it doesn't like really make sense when you click on this mute button that the scale still remains to 70, right? So you want the scale to be turned back to zero. And that is pretty easy to do. We just write scale. And how, how are we writing the scale? Because we have declared a scale variable down over here. And if you remember, we have uh, already used the set value before, and this is used over here. We used to uh, basically uh, implement, let me actually write down, implement the default value of scale when music player starts. All right. So yeah, that's, that's what you use it for. Now we're just going to copy it. I can't believe I'm not writing it inside. Uh, <laughs> okay. It's fine. We'll just copy it. <laughs> it's just three letters. I'll just fucking write it. Scale dot set zero. So what this is going to do is going to set the scale to zero and we won't have to uh, worry about where this scale is going to go. So let's actually implement this and see if it's working or not. All right. So let's reload this and, uh, before uh, implementing any kind of music, let's just try this out. I mean, doesn't, it doesn't really matter, right? Whether the music is playing or not. 
So we're gonna click on this and uh, it turns to zero, perfect. But now when we click on this, again, nothing is gonna happen because we haven't implemented this part yet, which says if already muted, now this value is true in our condition because we haven't muted the music and that's why it says if muted equals to true and now it's going to implement all the code under this conditions. So we are basically going to undo the things that we have already done. So we are going to set the music and then we are going to configure it back to volume photo and uh, yeah, we are going to set the scale to maybe 70. So I'm just going to copy and paste this over here, set the volume. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure that the volume is set uh, to maybe 0.7. Yeah, this uh, is good enough. And then I want to set the scale to 70. And instead of the mute photo, I want the volume photo. All right. And this should work pretty well. And that's pretty much it for the mute functionality of our music player. So let's reload it and see if it's actually working or not. All right, before we even start the music, let's just try this uh, mute button. So we press on this, it goes to zero. And then we press on it again and it's actually not changing. All right, why is it not changing? Uh, if muted. All right, I figured it out why it's not working because we haven't changed the value of muted equals to false. I'm so, I'm so, like so stupid. How can I forget that? So when you uh, mute the music, then you have to change the value of the muted variable because now it's muted, right? So you have to make sure that the muted is equals to true. For a minute, I was like, why, why is it not working? Am, am I like, have I gone crazy? Something. So let's reload it. And now when I click on this button, it goes to mute. And then when I click on it again, it goes to 70 again. So let's actually try it out. We are gonna open up a file. Uh, let's go to this one. And then we're gonna click on play. <laughs> made another mistake I was thinking why it's not working so we when we do if muted then we again have to change the muted value to false I don't know how I'm making this mistake again and again but I have to change it to false again because uh, we are setting the value over here to true and then we are not changing to false ever again so when we click on this uh, mute button then it goes to mute and then it's uh, true but we are not changing it to false anywhere else so we have to change it to false over here again so let's reload it and see if this time is the charm and we don't mess it up anywhere. So over here, yeah, it's working. Over here, it's working. Over here, it's working. All right, so it's working. Let's open up a file. Go to IC Fire, play. <laughs> And now the music must be muted so you should be able to hear me and now i'm gonna just unmute the music and it's gonna basically uh, play the music it's go not gonna restart the music it's just gonna play the music and actually the music is playing behind the scenes you just can't hear it so i'm just gonna click on this again and then you'll be able to hear the music all right so that should be uh, working pretty well uh, all right so now in this video we are uh, we have completed day 16 and uh, we have implemented this mute button over here. Uh, this was not that difficult. We just created a new button. So let, let me actually just also before I end this video add some comments. Uh, bottom frame for uh, like volume uh, rewind mute etc. If we add anything else and what else should i do and yeah i just i was just telling you what we have done in this video just a quick recap so over here we just created two two photo images first is the mute photo second is the volume photo so that when we click on the uh, button it changes the image to the second photo and vice versa obviously we are kind of toggling it and then it executes a command mute underscore music so we went up to mute underscore music i declared a variable outside which says muted equals to false because when you restart or uh, let me just restart it uh, so basically when you first first when it opens your inter window when your music player melody opens the muted is equals to false because you haven't muted the music yet when you press on this mute button it goes to mute underscore music it takes this value of false from here and then it says if muted 
then unmute the music and the vice versa in else. So right now it's not muted. So it's gonna go over here on the, when we click the button, it's gonna go over here and it will set the volume as zero, change the button, set the scale as zero and then it will say muted equals to true and this is one of the mistakes that I did. So don't forget this very simple thing that you have to do at the end. And then we did the opposite thing for this if, uh, if the volume is actually muted. So guys, this is pretty much it for this video. Uh, tomorrow we are going to be learning about, uh, about how, to, how to calculate the duration of the music and uh, we are going to be probably making something on top basically uh, something that gives the file information at what point, what, what is the duration of the file, what is the name of the file, etc. So yeah, we'll tackle that tomorrow. So I'll see you on day 17.